Nerva's tax reform covered a wide range from the Jewish tax to the accession tax. He instituted measures and reforms to continue some of Domitian's policies and repudiate his other ideas and implementations. What were Nerva's measures? What was the Fiscus Iudiacus with its history and impact before and during Nerva's reign? Find out today on Roman History. Before getting into the subject today, I really need your help. One of my goals is to prove my family, who have opposed my goal to be a historian. Your contributions mean a lot to me, and they help me. You can make a difference with your actions to prove my parents wrong, and I can do the hard work and dedication. Background Before Nerva, procurators adjudicated the taxpayers. Under his measure, the praetors took charge and increased membership to enforce his new policy. The difference was the procurators favoring the fiscus, emperor's treasury, and praetors bringing either fair tax collection or succumbing to popular pressure. For example, from the Digest of Justinian, Book 1, it mentioned the 18 additional praetors in Rome. Tax Measures In Augustus' reign, he implemented a 5% inheritance tax for the military, but it was unpopular with the people. Under Nerva, he allowed mothers and their free children as long as all parties were citizens. He also allowed exemptions for bequests between fathers and free sons, who were not required to be under the father's parental authority Elkins 135. Other tax measures were the decreased tribute and an accession tax or gold crowns as gifts, Orum Coronarium. Cassius Dio demonstrated Nerva's frugality due to possibly not having enough money in the treasury. Fiscus Judaicus. Finally, there was the Fiscus Judaicus. It was for the Jews, and it started under the Flavian Emperor Vespasian. He instituted a limited tax of two denarii, which was equivalent to two sestertii. The reasons were a means to punish the Jews for the first Jewish revolt of 66-73 AD and to rebuild the Temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus Capitolinus during the year of the four emperors, 69 AD. Under Domitian, he made no distinction between the various types of Jews and Christians. Apostate Jews, Apocorus, Hellenistic Jews, Mainstream Jews, Ebionites, Jewish Christians, and Gentile Christians. He used ethnicity as an excuse to persecute Jews and Christians. There was a difference between Jewish Christians and the Ebionites on Christology, the study of Jesus Christ. The Jewish Christians supported high Christology, emphasizing divine nature, but the Ebionites favored low Christology, centered on human nature. Nerva tried to separate Jews from Jewish Christians through religious affiliation. There were two calumnii, wrongful accusations. One was the assumption of Jewish Christians living like Jews. The second was tax evasion. According to the Jewish historian Flavius Josephus and the Roman historian Suetonius, the Fiscus Iudiacus applied to all ethnic Jews. Dio, however, was more specific on the distinction between Jews and Christians, pure Jews. To add on, biblical writers like St. Paul, St. Matthew, St. Mark, and St. Luke showed the persecution of Jewish Christians in synagogues. In addition, Nerva reverted the severity to being more limited under Vespasian and served as a contrast to Domitian. For example, under Domitian, the punishment for tax evasion was harsh. As for Nerva, he banned tax evasions as accusations. It served for the wealthy being most fearful of the delators, informers. There are various opinions as to whether Nerva ended the Fiscus Judaicus or reformed it or its purposes. Martin Goodman initially stood on the perspective of Nerva ending the abuses. However, he changed his view, ending it altogether until Trajan re-implementing without distinction between Jews and Christians but not as severe as Domitian's version. Goodman's proof was a few receipts that paled in comparison to Domitian and Trajan. According to Stephen Wilson, he used the Epistle of Barnabas, the reason for the Jewish tax was to the rebuilding of the temple in Barnabas 16, 3-4 inch, Davis 77. Nevertheless, there was no proof to the relationship, and Barnabas utilized the present tense. 
Daniel Schematic put the timeline of Barnabas' epistle during Hadrian's reign because Trajan's father collaborated with Vespasian to fight in the Judean campaign, the first Jewish revolt of 66-73 AD. The letter to the Hebrews might have been in Domitian's reign due to the references of coercion. There was another possible motive, the Senate's fear of Domitian's informers. He used them to get information on potential enemies and those breaking the law. One example was Flavius Clemens for atheism. Under Nerva, he exempted Jewish and non-Jewish Christians. The Roman view was, legal religion, Judaism, and an illegal superstition, Christianity, he Mistra 195. In the Gospel of John, it referenced the Jewish Christians no longer facing punishment but no longer being Jews. Conclusion Nerva's tax reform demonstrated a need for stability after Domitian and appealed to the people for populist measures to placate them for his rule. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to see more of my videos. My next video will be on Nerva's reforms on social welfare and infrastructure projects.